G'day guys, welcome back, Max here. Uh, today we're going to be checking out another scene from Kenga and Ashura. This one, I think this was like my second favorite fight uh, when I watched it, this show. And this one is between Yoroisuke Sopang and uh, Karo Yoshinari. Yoroisuke Sopang is a Leth uh, Lethway fighter, a Burmese boxer. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, um, for like lack of like a simpler explanation, think Muay Thai with headbutts. There's obviously there's a bunch of different rules and things like that. Like there's different rule sets there, but basically for what they do, it's knees, elbows, punches, kicks, and headbutts. Uh, and they also fight bare knuckles, so they have like they'll wrap their hands, but that's it. If you haven't seen Lethway before, I will put a link up in the cards and also down below in the description um, for you guys to go and check it out because it is wild to watch. It's nuts. Um, yeah, you don't really get a full grasp of what it's like until you actually watch it. And uh, Karo Yoshinari is a fisherman. So, <laughs> uh, so basically his, his thing is that he has perfect balance. He doesn't have like a style uh, backing, but he fights the way that he fishes. So big, strong attacks. He's also like naturally very, very strong. Uh, and that's kind of his whole thing. He has perfect balance, but only on the boats. When he's on land, he suffers from land sickness because he's used to everything swaying all the time. Uh, so he's very, very off-balanced when he's on land. And actually, that kind of plays into this pretty cool. But anyway, guys, this is Yoroisuke Sopang versus Karo Yoshinari from Kengan Ashura. Let's do it. <laughs> so uh, Yoroisuke Sopang and Gao Lan are actually um, rivals. They're very, very different. But Gao Lan is from Thailand and Sopang is from Burma. And in real life, those countries definitely have a very lively rivalry as well. So it's cool to see that uh, in the in the manga and in the um, anime as well. Apparently, Karo weighs 165 kilos. <coughs> I love the Lethway stance. Fantastic. Elbows, hands up high, elbows out, protecting from the body kicks. <laughs> yeah, see, Kato stands as that fisherman. He fights. Oh! Spears right through him. And he manages to stay on his feet. <laughs> Way Big right hand. Jeez. That there. Perfect head movement, by the way. I mean, he got tagged by it a little bit, but the closer you can stay to a punch, the better. If you do a big head movement, leave your head open for those shots. That was perfect. He grazed his ear with it. Awesome. Leaves him that big opening for the body shot there too. See, it's not Muay Thai. Big knee. Oh, just unloading. Big jumping elbow. Yeah, you're also, like I said, you're also allowed to headbutt, but a lot of the techniques are similar, but they do fight bare knuckle. Beautiful elbow. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I've seen people lean back from kicks, but never while they're down on one knee. Oh. Punched him so hard, he broke his hand. <laughs> See? Headbutts. <laughs> oh my god. No. Ah. Oh. What a tough old man. Beautiful inside low kick. Brings him down. Oh, I love that double up. So this is where that, that uh, land sickness of his comes in. Look at this balance. Up on his big toe. And throws that hugely powerful uppercut from that. <laughs> 165 kilos doing a cartwheel and a flip and then dropping the shin on the head. Lethway fighters are nuts, by the way. Those people are all crazy. That forward attacking stance, nice and low. Here they go. 
Flying with the foot. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Ah, ah. Oh. He's got the bear hug. Oh, what do we got? Oh, elbow. I couldn't tell with the, the negative there. That's it, done. Broke his neck. Uh, ah. Oh, what a way to finish it. I mean, that's true. Left way, like I said, man, it's like almost no holds barred. It is wild. Make sure that you guys go and check out the fight that I will link there. Um, yeah, that big boom, elbow down on the side of the neck. I've actually seen something similar to that in a Muay Thai fight. Obviously not like to the side of the neck, but uh, the fighter kind of got put up against the ropes and he basically just jumped and just started hammering the spear elbows down on the top of this guy's head and just blood split his head open and blood just pouring down. They ended up stopping the fight because the blood was getting in the guy's eye, but that was savage. Uh, anyway, guys, Yoroisuke Sopang versus Karo Yoshinari. Amazing fight. I love seeing that left way. Uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below. If there's any scenes you'd like me to check out, make sure to let me know. And then subscribe so when I get around to doing the scenes you want to see, you don't miss out. Till the next video, guys. Stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye.